Hey, Dr. Barry here. In this quick video, I'm going to talk to you about a topic that is so important, fatty liver and how to cure it. That's right, cure it. Get rid of it. You don't have it anymore, okay? Fatty liver disease is a huge epidemic in the US and the UK, Australia, Canada. You're gonna wind up losing a loved one you cherish to fatty liver if we don't start turning the tide on this epidemic. Before I get started, please take one second, click the subscribe button. That way, every time I have a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know, okay? Now, fatty liver disease. This is a huge epidemic that you may, never, you may not have heard of at all. Maybe you have, but if you haven't, you need to, and so do your friends and neighbors. Fatty liver, also called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or if it's if your liver's inflamed, we sometimes as doctors call it non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, okay? All these things mean basically the same thing, that your body has inappropriately stored fat in your liver. Not a good thing, huge risk factor for liver failure, for death, for heart disease. We'll get into all that in, in just a few minutes. Let me give you a few facts about fatty liver disease and how common it is. You're going to be blown away by this, okay? And then at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how to cure fatty liver in either yourself or a loved one, okay? First of all, 30 to 40 percent of adults in the U.S. and in most Western society have fatty liver. Three to four out of ten right? That's nuts. That's ridiculous, okay? This is, and fatty liver self-inflicted, and I'm going to tell you how to cure it, but three out of four uh, out of ten people you know have fatty liver disease as an adult. What about kids? Of course kids don't have this, right? No, you're wrong. One out of every ten kids in America, down to as young as three years old, depending on how terrible their diet is, can have fatty liver disease. Yeah, there are actually teenagers on the liver transplant list now because of their fatty liver disease. I mean, all doctors in America should literally hang their head in shame that this is occurring because it's entirely 100 percent preventable and 100% curable if you eat the right diet and do the things that I talk about later in this video. Of type 2 diabetics, if you're a type 2 diabetic, you have a 40 to 80% chance of having fatty liver disease, okay? So if you're a type 2 diabetic, if you're overweight, if you have insulin resistant resistance, you're almost guaranteed to have fatty liver disease. So you really need to do what I'm about to talk about, okay? So why do we care? Well, because it is now the leading cause of liver failure and people being on the liver transplant list. It's even more dangerous than alcoholism, than overdosing on Tylenol, than having hepatitis. That's how bad fatty liver disease is. So you really need to do these things I'm about to talk about because I want to teach you how to fix your fatty liver. I want to teach you how to help your mom fix her fatty liver or your uncle or your friend across the road. Because if they have fatty liver, it's quite possible that their doctor hasn't even made a big deal about it. OK, but it is a huge deal. So how do you fix fatty liver? You know me. I talk about the practical. I talk about the common sense. I talk about what you can do today to begin to fix things. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. First, I want to tell you about the, the most likely things that are going to fix this. And then we'll talk about a few other things that might help a little bit. But I want you to always focus on the 80%. Don't focus on the 20%, right? Focus on the big picture. What's really going to have the most effect for the least amount of effort. And that's what I'm going to talk about first because that's the most important. Now, if you have someone who has fatty liver or who's overweight or type 2 diabetic that you know, please share this video with them because it could literally change their life and literally save their life, right? Here we go. In Western society, in America, anytime we want to fix a problem, what do we do? We want to buy something. We want to we want to go get something. We want to basically add something to the system, right? And for fatty liver, like many of the diseases, uh, the chronic diseases that we all suffer from, it's not a question of what you add to the disease. It's a question of what do you subtract? What do you take out of your system? What do you stop putting in your system, okay? And fatty liver disease falls perfectly in this category. If you want to cure your fatty liver disease, you have to stop fructose. You have to stop sugars. You have to stop starches. You have to stop simple carbs. 
That's it. That is the cure. I'm not joking. You can literally turn off the video right now and go and make those changes in your life and cure your fatty liver. Okay, now I'm going to get into a few more details. So you might want to stay tuned, but it's up to you because that's the 80 percent. Literally fructose, sugars, starches, simple carbs. That's it. Stop those. Those are poisoning your body. They are making your your biochemical digestive system inappropriately lay down fat in your liver and also lay down fat in your pancreas. Fatty pancreas is also a very bad thing. I've got another video back on my channel here about fatty pancreas if you want to check that out. But fatty liver, as we talked about, is a huge medical risk. So you got to fix this. Okay, so fructose, whether it comes from a soft drink in the form of high fructose corn syrup, or whether it comes from a delicious ripe organic peach, is digested completely differently in your body from other sugars and starches, okay? And it's highly likely it's going to be laid down as fat in your liver. So you got to get the fructose out of your life completely, but don't, don't just think it's fructose and nothing else, okay? Because, you know, sugar, sugar is made up of glucose and fructose right? So if anything is pre-sweetened, that's going to make your fatty liver worse, or it's going to increase your risk of developing fatty liver disease, okay? The, all the simple, all the starches, all the simple sugars, as soon as you eat them and your acid breaks them up and digests them, they turn into some combination of glucose and fructose. That's right, exactly right. Even the sugar, the, star, the carbs in broccoli, break down ultimately <clears throat> into glucose and fructose, but they're so locked up in the fiber and they're so blended with great vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that I think it's okay to get those carbs in cruciferous vegetables, in leafy greens. I think those carbs are, are, are acceptable because they're so locked up in the fiber if you eat them raw or lightly steamed, and they're so filled with nutrition. I think they're okay. But the starches from any grain, any grain whatsoever is going to make your fatty liver worse. You got to stop the grains. You got to stop anything that has fructose in it. And you got to stop the sugars, the starches. That's it. That's the, that's the solution. That's the cure. We could literally wipe out the epidemic of fatty liver disease by just following those things. One more thing you've got to get out of your life because it inflames your liver, which can cause your liver to lay down more fat than it might would otherwise is the vegetable oil. And I do this because there's no vegetables in them, right? Canola, safflower, soybean oil, uh -uh. all those got to go. Okay. They inflame your liver and that's going to make your liver lay down fat, which you do not want. You got to cook your foods in real fats like bacon grease, lard, avocado oil, olive oil, butter, right? Those are the things you cook in. If you've got canola oil in your kitchen right now, pause this video, push the pause button, get up and go to the kitchen right now and throw that crap in the garbage because that's where it belongs, okay? Now, other things that you can do that might help with fatty liver, and these are the 20%, so don't focus on these. These are just little extras so that after you're already doing the 80%, you can also do these for maybe a little added benefit. One is vitamin D. Vitamin D has been associated, low vitamin D is associated with worse fatty liver disease. Now that does not mean that low vitamin D causes it, but it might help it a little bit. So make sure you're taking a good quality vitamin D supplement every day. That might help a little bit. Uh, taking glucophage, which is a prescription medication, has been shown in a couple of studies to be associated with improving uh, fatty liver. It does not mean that it improves fatty liver, but it definitely doesn't hurt. So you might consider if your doctor has you on glucophage or metformin, continuing to take that. Omega-3 fatty acids look like they probably help fatty liver a little bit. That does not mean go buy a supplement. What I would prefer you do is just eat more grass-fed meats that have omega-3s, more, more pastured eggs that have omega-3 in the yolk, more butter that's grass-fed butter, and get more omega-3s. That's probably going to help the fatty liver. Uh, what else? Now, I'll tell you some no's. Absolutely don't do this for your fatty liver. If any guru or health expert says, hey, I've got this liver cleanse, I've got this liver supplement, no, that is a waste of money. 
You don't need that, okay? All you need to do is focus on the 80% I talked about earlier. Do not buy pills, powders, supplements. <clears throat> None of that stuff is going to help your liver, okay? You don't need to add anything to this equation. You just need to subtract the poison. Get it out, okay? If your doctor says, hey, take a statin drug, that'll get the fat out of your liver, no. There's no research that shows that at all. That's dumb. Don't do that, okay? Your doctor may, instead of using glucophage or metformin, he may say, hey, you should take Actos or Avandia because there's some research that shows they help with fatty liver. No. If you look at the research, it's dumb. Don't do that. Don't take Avandia and Actos. Those are not good type 2 diabetes medications, okay? You want to focus on metformin and glucophage. Metformin and glucophage has this false reputation of being hard on your kidneys, but that's dumb. What's really hard on your kidneys is when your blood sugar is high and when your insulin level is high. That's what destroys your kidneys. So if your doctor says, hey, take some glucophage, it might help. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to do, but don't think that that's the solution. The solution is to fix your diet, okay? Two other ways you don't want to fix fatty liver unless they're just a last-ditch effort. <clears throat> One is bariatric surgery stomach stapling, the donut procedure, the any of those bariatric surgery options, fix your fatty liver with your diet. Don't fix it with surgery, okay? It works, no doubt, but my God, what a, what a sacrifice, what a compromise to have permanent, unchangeable surgery to your gastrointestinal system rather than just fix your diet. I don't get the logic in that. And the last way to fix fatty liver is with a liver transplant. And if you don't fix your diet one day, that'll become your only option. You'll have no option but to fix it with, by being on the liver transplant list and waiting for someone to die so you can have their liver. I really don't recommend that as a way to do this at all, okay? Focus on the 80%. If you want to add the 20%, if you have the money and the, and the means to do that, that's okay. But that's not the solution. The solution is to fix your diet in just the ways I told you above. And then you will have zero chance of ever uh, developing fatty liver disease unless you're a drinker or you overdose on medications or you have hepatitis. Otherwise, you'll never get fatty liver disease if you fix your diet. Now, if you enjoyed this and if you know someone whose life you could change, by sharing this video, please do so, please. It helps me to help so many more people when you share these videos. Also, if you really love the videos I make, I have a Patreon link down below. You can click it and throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time to make these videos to help you and to help others. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.